Hey everybody, how y'all doing today? My name is Tay, and welcome back to my channel, Inspire Me, where I talk about current or relatable topics, all from a godly perspective, and today's topic is called No Other Name I Know. <laughs> now, the reason why I wanted to talk about this, because I was thinking about this scenario, and pretty much what made me think about the name of the title, is that song, it's like, what you know about Jesus, he's alright. Don't give it to sing, y'all. <laughs> y'all yeah, know, y'all know that song. <laughs> so I thought about this song, and they say, "Oh, no other name I know." So, pretty much the reason that's the title. But um, I want to talk about this because a lot of people, whether they started off saying Jesus, you know, about you know, pretty much saying Jesus, or if they always just said this name. Now, when they refer to God. Jehovah Jireh, they don't use what's in the King James or New King James Version. That's the only um, um, version I read, all the Amplified and all that. I don't read it because it switches a lot of the words around. So I pretty much just come from the King James or New King James Version. So if you read the, the King James, the New King James Version, it pretty much tells you God of course course you know god jehovah jireh and it says jesus jesus christ but a lot of times i hear people saying yes i don't even know his name but i think they be saying yeshu yeshua or um yahweh or what <laughs> bro what are you talking about man okay i understand those might mean you know, God, or it could mean the same, and a lot of people might say, um, um, according to our Hebrew, um, Hebrew Bibles, and the Israelites, and, uh-uh, first of all, I'm African American, you're probably African American, or you're probably Caucasian, or you're probably another race, but there's only one Bible that applies to all races, and that's the Holy Bible, and the Holy Bible, it don't say Yahweh. It don't say Yashu, if I'm even saying it right. It says Jesus Christ. Now, I don't have a particular um, reference um, scripture, but if I have to pretty much use one, it's going to be from, um, is it John 14, 6? I'm not going to read it because I pretty much know what it says, but it says Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. I'm going to re repeat that one more time for the people in the back who probably can't hear me. <laughs> it says, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus, not Yahweh, is the way, the truth, and the life. Not Yahshua. Stop saying that. You're not he Hebrew, you feel me? If you're not pretty much stating the word Jesus or Jesus Christ, then I'm not gonna say that's a sin. You feel me? Probably God will honor that. But like I said, I go biblically. You feel me? In my Bible, you feel me? I don't have a Hebrew Bible and all that, and I'm not gonna get one because, like I said, I'm not Hebrew. And second of all, a lot of things change. If you look from the Old Testament to the New Testament, a lot of things change when the um, New Testament came about. And we know that Jesus Christ came. You feel me? It don't say Yahshua came or Yahweh came. You feel me? So I will not be using those words whatsoever to describe my Lord and Jesus Christ. You feel me? I'm not just not going to do it. Now, I listened to some, um, you know, different um, sermons, different channels that, you know, serve God. But a lot of them say Yahweh. Uh, Yahshua. Now, I, I pretty much, I be kind of like thinking to myself, like, and let me see if all their videos got this or what, because if it do, I don't listen to it no more. You feel me? Because, yeah. I don't know. You, you really got to reevaluate that. You feel me? Like, if you hear a lot of the church songs, it's, you feel me? It says, what you know about Jesus? You feel me? There's something about the name Jesus. They always use Jesus. We know that Jesus it's the name above all names. Even the devil and the demons and the devils, they tremble at that name. It don't say the demons and devils tremble at the word Yahshua. It don't say it's something about that name Yahshua. 
like I said, all throughout the Bible, it says Jesus Christ. So that will be the name that I call my Lord and Savior. I'm not going to call him Yahweh or Joshua. I'm not going to do it. You feel me? So you, you have to consult God regarding that. You feel me? If you're a born again believer and you're, you got the Holy Ghost and you believe in Jesus Christ and you're saying Yahshua or Yahweh, consult God to see if he approves of that. You feel me? You feel me? And also too, um, I want to say this too, like, there's a lot of times I see people, uh, when they're typing, you know, writing or texting or whatever, making a comment for them to say, um, God, they use lowercase g-o-d. Uh-uh. That's disrespectful. You feel me? When you approach God, you feel me? The true and living God, because there's many gods in this world, but there's only one true and living God. And that's the God that you're supposed to capitalize. So when I see people lowercase his name, it could be a good um, post. You feel me? That's true. I'm not going to like it because you're disrespecting God. You feel me? And then I don't know what father you're talking about. You feel me? Like I said, there's a lot of guys. It doesn't mean that you're talking about the true living God. And if you are talking about him and you're lowercase in his name, that's disrespectful. You feel me? And I can use the example, you know, if you lowercase somebody else's name, at the end of the day, it's not the same because we are not the same as Jesus. You feel me? So if you lowercase my name, lowercase somebody else's name, you feel me? If we're in grammar school, <laughs> we're in the literature or reading or something like that, and we ain't getting graded, then just lowercase it. But if it's Jesus Christ, if it's our Father, you feel me, God, which is in heaven, you need to put some respect on that. You feel me? <laughs> and capitalize his name. Now, I know some people say, um, because like, say for instance, if you put like a hashtag, it will automatically put it in lowercase. But when it does that, you can automatically go to it. Hey, everybody. I had to bring this in the house. Yeah. But, um, where did I leave off at? Um, yeah, when you are like hashtagging and you might use Jesus or God in it, it will automatically, um, lowercase the G or lowercase the J. However, you can go ahead and go in there and, um, correct it and make it a, a capital case. It's just like if you're hashtagging your business or something, business and it, um, accidentally put another name in it or something like that you're not going to keep that name in there you're going to correct it right okay then we'll correct the the letter of his name <laughs> by by um uppercase it you feel me <laughs> so yeah yeah that's pretty much all i had to say today i'm not saying that y'all sure or you know using the word yahweh or whatever because god do have a lot of names in the bible we refer to him as jehovah jireh you know Prince of Peace, my King, my Lord. Like, he has a lot of names. Don't get me wrong. He do have a lot of names. You feel me? But his name is God. He's our Father. And, you know, he came in the flesh as Jesus Christ. And they're one. So, I feel me? When I address him, I say Jesus. And in my Holy Bible, it says Jesus as well. You feel me? It don't say Yahshua. Uh, Yahshua. However you pronounce it, you feel me? <laughs> and you can say, oh, Israelites and the Hebrew and uh-uh. Uh-uh. You see this? <laughs> you feel me? African-American. I'm not Israelite. You feel me? I'm not Hebrew. You feel me? And even if I was, uh, feel me, this is the New Testament time. I'm, I'm not going to go by that. You feel me? I'm going to call him Jesus Christ because there's power in that name. You feel me? So that's pretty much all, all I had to say today. Make sure you like, make sure you share, and also make sure you subscribe to my channel. Y'all have a blessed day.